Welcome to St. Luke United Methodist Church and our midweek update. My name is Pastor Kurt McGelke. I am so glad that you could join us today for some announcements and a preview of this weekend's worship. So this week's COVID update from the health department was really good. Uh, the COVID numbers are taking a dramatic turn down and uh, they have moved the risk dial to the elevated orange. And if things keep going down this track, we should be able to see some of the restrictions loosened very, very soon. Um, but as of now, we are still continuing our mask mandate for all indoor activities here at the church. Uh, but, you know, keep praying. Uh, things are going the right direction. Uh, we will be continuing our 10-week study and worship series on the Ten Commandments this week with the Fourth Commandment. Uh, this study will continue on throughout Lent, and we will continue using the book Words of Life, Jesus and the Promise of the Ten Commandments by Adam Hamilton. Uh, we're going to be meeting Thursdays at either 10 a.m. or 7 p.m. online or in person, and the Zoom information is on our adult education page on the website. Uh, there is a link in the description below. So just a reminder that we do have some extra St. Luke t-shirts if you would like one. They're $15 a piece and they're located in the narthex here at the church. Um, now is also the time to begin thinking about summer camp. Uh, camp Fontenelle is the closest United Methodist summer camp and is located not too far from Fremont and a little over an hour away from the church. We have scholarships available and half price discounts for first time campers. Um, so please see me if you're interested. Uh, you can also find more information about the camp and the programs that they are offering this summer by visiting their website. Uh, and we will have some info also in the church and the narthex. Um, there's a link in the description below for Camp Fontenelle's website if you want to go check that out. So Glenn Kozak is looking to put together a St. Luke softball team. Uh, if you are interested, please sign up online. There's a link in the description below for our sign up page, or you can wor in worship this weekend, you can sign up in the Book of Opportunity. There'll be a sign up sheet there. Um, this sounds like something to be really fun. The season starts in April. Uh, the games are on Monday nights, and we just ask that you sign up by March 13th so Glenn can get the team registered. Uh, the deadline for registration is March, I think, 27th or something like that. Um, and so we just want to make sure that we have enough people before he sends in a registration. Uh, for more information, you can call the church office for Glenn's phone number, and he can help you out with that. Uh, Glenn's putting all this together, so, um, it, but it sounds like a lot of fun. So if you want to take part in that, please sign up. All right, this Sunday at 2 p.m. is going to be our monthly day of service. We're going to be going to the, uh, sort, sort donations at the People City Mission over at 6800 P Street. Uh, we'll be meeting on the back side of the building where the donations are dropped off. Uh, most of us plan on staying around two hours or so, but if you could stay even for an hour, that would be a really great help. Uh, so please join us for that. It should be, it's a lot of fun, you know, getting together to do service. Um, and, it, and it's a great help uh, to, to the organization. So please, please come and join us for that. Uh, this weekend in worship, we continue our Words of Life series by looking at the fourth commandment. Remember the Sabbath day and treat it as holy. You know, we live in a society that worships productivity and work. There's nothing wrong with a good work ethic. In fact, some of us probably could use a little bit more of one. But the problem is that we have taken this work ethic, this American work ethic and pulling yourself up by your bootstraps ethic to such an extreme that we don't seem to make time for the one who is most important, God. Join us this weekend in worship as we explore what it means to have a Sabbath day of rest for the Lord. And you can join us in worship at any one of our three services, Saturday at 5.30 p.m. or Sunday at either 8.30 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. The 10.30 service is also live streamed as well as in person. So I hope you all have a blessed week. Bye.